Hello everybody, it is me, Will7825, and you are back with another video. In this video, we're going to be building a PC, guys, so, you know, PCs, it's not really too big. Okay. But it's not really for gaming, it's just going to be for productivity. I've already built this once before, well, not really that, well, not really built it. I've tested out the motherboard, just put in the CPU and the RAM, put in some thermal compound, and just connected the power supply to uh, um, HDMI input, um, and then it just works, but the problem is if you get it used, so the thing is, there's a chance the motherboard might not work. So this one does not work, it just keeps getting in a loop, it says, that Windows is downloading. But the first thing you want to know when we're building a computer is okay, the CP, no, no, the tools. So, for our tools, uh, so, okay, so I'm gotta be, ugh. why did I choose to make YouTube videos for my life? Anyway, guys, I'll get this stuff cleared up and I'll be right back. Peace. Well, this isn't the end of the video, so, like, don't leave, so, like, you know what I mean. I'll be right back in five seconds. Not for you, well, five minutes, but, like, for you guys, it's, like, okay, we are back, so, wait. Yeah, I cleared up all this stuff. So, first of all, we have our choice of tools. I'm using an IKEA toolkit, because, like, I really like how it offers the multiple bits, but I really don't want to use my iFixit toolkit right now, because... It's in the mail. It's coming. It's coming soon. Okay, but so my mom doesn't trust me with the hammer. She thinks so. I'll probably make a home the wall. But in here we have some pliers. We have so a screwdriver. We have a bunch of bits. We also have a wrench. I'm, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. You know, just don't even do that. I'm just making me feel better. And we have. Wrong with Jeff. Like, I like this when I'm building a PC. But, and we also have a set of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 bits. Alright, so enough about that. Let's get to our first choice. And you know what? I'm just starting to speed up time. I'm just gonna go over here while I do it because it's gonna be far You know what? I'm so stupid. I just I put the motherboard on the floor so like, someone's probably gonna step on it. The first thing is actually right before the CPU, got a cardboard box right here. And the power supply that you have gotten. I know I have like amazing choice of tape jingle bells. Make sure you have a plug. Mine's close. You know what? I'm gonna get an extension. Here we go. It's off center when I snap, like I'm like probably like five feet away from where I started this snap. And then no, it just ends up terrible, you know? It's like... Alright, so, um, to make sure the motherboard you got is not faulty, just to test if it works, take it in if it doesn't really matter. Mine has a 24-pin adapter. You know what? I'll make this camera closer. I'll be right back. Okay. Alright, so guys, now we have all the things we need. So we're going to have this 24-pin plug. So we're just going to find where it plugs in into the motherboard and... Yeah, find out plugs in right into here. So we're gonna get it lined up perfectly. Oh crap! I don't like doing stuff. So guys, this is like a t just like to show you that I've never built a computer before. So like your motherboard, and then stop and we'll just get some help. Get some. Feel genuine help. I'm gonna fast forward to the part now, probably. That's like a that's my least favorite part. So, what do we test to see if it will work? We get the cable. Make sure not to burn a house stand. Ooh, I think I don't want to tip over the RAM. Don't tip over the RAM again. And and we realize it's not long enough, so. I realize that. Turn it over. And then realize it is long enough. And then when the light powers on green, and then that one kind of 
I want to touch it. I don't want to get killed. Yeah, but like, this is how you know. There's a light there. And there will be, just to check if the power supply is functioning, there will be a glowing green light. Doesn't, it changes with, I'm why is the light still on? It's still on. I'll be back when it turns off. No what? Oh, that did it, that did it. I, that like freaked me out so much. I thought it was like, still plugging in power so while it's charging. Oh, here we go. First try, first try. All right. So now that we are positive that works. Oh, I just tipped over the ram. Now, our next thing is CPU. For here, we will be using an Intel Core i3. I forgot. I think it's a fifth generation Intel Core i3. So to do that, for your CPU socket, if you're getting it brand new, there will be a plastic cover right up here. But, you know, let me just... It works. Sorry, mom. Uh, for this, for the CPU socket, there will be a plastic cover in here if it's brand new. But if it is not, don't worry. I already applied some thermal compound just to put um put on the heat sinks when I was doing the testing. So find the corner that has a yellow triangle or gold. Who cares? And then push push the CPU socket part. Like this, the um, clip thing. Down it might be hard for you, and then up. And then, like, push it back, push it. And then the CPU socket should be exposed. Now, let me just sit on the table, just show you guys. Alright, so now when you have the yellow triangle matched up, find the blunted point. I will have some close up footage of that. When you pull, put the blunted point in, oh, dang. Make sure you put it in very gently, and then take away all dust. Like that. There is actually dust. And you just put it in very carefully because if you break the CPU socket. And now that's that's all. Now you hold the um kinda like a pin, the thing, kinda like a car, you know. Then you push it down. Not really that much, gently. And then you pull it back until like this is kind of rushed like that. Then you push forward until there is the screw the um little notches. The screw goes into the notch. And you push push as hard as you can until it goes in the first try. Alright, now for our RAM. For our RAM choice, we chose six gigabytes of RAM. One is a two gig stick from Hynix, Korea. And then the next one is a four gig stick from Samsung. For our RAM insertion, we will do so like this. Take the RAM clips, this one has only two, and then push them out like that. And then for our RAM, match up the little notch right here Notch up the little notch right here with the notch here. It should line up perfectly, and then when you slide it in. Oh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. It push firmly with your palms. And then, un and it will lock on its own, so guys, don't um, try to push it in unless you want to break the RAM. So this is 6 gigs of RAM. RAM is more like for productivity and stuff. It's like the system memory. Not the hard drive. We will, for our hard drive, that's coming up later, for our next one. Same procedure, and it's gonna clip right in. Now, for our case. Well, not really for our case. For our heat sink. For our um, cooling system, we will have an ADC fan for heat sink, and then it will be, we already has, have it lined up. So now, for the good part. Get the um, screw bit that best suits you, or mainly fits for you. I'd prefer to find this one for me. It, um, I have no idea, it's like, it's like a pyramid head or something like that. Screwdriver. And then you put the bit in. Then you take the heat sink, match it up to the um, part where the heat sink should go in because you don't want to accidentally put it in that way. When you know it's when it, you don't know it's supposed to be plugged in here, even though it is, it will be um, plugged in here. Now place the re place the heat sinks on top as just like so. And I'll be right back because I have something else to do. I gotta I need to charge my phone. Right. Okay, we're back, so I don't even think we're going to need some close-up footage of me inserting that, but just so you guys know, this wire will be coming out of the heat sink. I'll create this part of the motherboard, or it will be needing to go. It is a 4-pit. Align it. 
so the wire um i'll put where like the water comes out why the water comes why the wire comes out is closest to the pin and plug it in parents don't worry you won't get an electric shock if you're trying this so right now I'm going to be lazy and I'm just going to screw these in. Alright, so once you have that plugged in, you're pretty much ready to go to put it in your case. Okay, so let's move this off to the side. And move the camera up. Hey. And so now who cares? For our case, because why not? I had a bit old fat bone spiral. I just inspired my case lying around. So I just opened that up. It's like there's a big hole in it. As you can see. Kurt's courtesy of me like trying to break it open. But I don't know either way. The case will come with nothing inside it. Also, you just want to unclip these. Unclip and unclip. Just to make it easier. What it will probably come with if you order a case. Are, so, the case itself, these wires, because this is for the IO. Well, the front IO. I already inserted my IO shield, but it, your motherboard will come with one. Just insert it here for ethernet and stuff like that. Also, also for the um, front IO here, I have the placement of two USB type um, A's 2.0, not 3.0, you guys come on. You have a, a mic input and a, um, I don't know which one's which, mic and headphone and an SD card reader, which I thought was cool. And you have the power button, which I think it might be lighting up. No, it's not. So for the, also it will come with here as shown this. What else for your hard drive? What else for your WAN? W well, WLAN. And I'll be right back coming back coming back at you with the required screws because I didn't watch and I lost all of them, so like they're all over the floor somewhere over there. Bye. Alright guys, we are back. So for the first part is I have the screws. The second part is I set up a new camera up there. You know, as things are life school guys. So I have the screws here. I have a bunch of screws because I too lazy to put it back in the original oh, package it came in. Okay, so for this part, you're gonna need to you know kind of like not by memory. So the IO shield, you guys are gonna place that. Mine's already placed in. This is where all your HDMI inputs. So for this one, I have six USB Type A ports. Um, USB 2.0, an Ethernet cable, a HDMI cable, a VGA cable, and I think it's auxiliary input or something like that. But let's align it inside the box. Okay, so now we have that part aligned. I'm sure you guys have probably seen a bunch of it. Let's. Okay, so now we have it all aligned. Let's just make sure our screw holes are aligned. They're mine are lined in on orange little circle. Get mine in. Yeah, I should probably do that. So next up, we have the power supply. For this power supply, we'll be using a ha I have no idea how many watts power supply. It does not say on here. It says Dell Incorporated. Input. Output. It's something in Chinese. Mm. Only 300 watts, but who cares? Alright. So, I hope this is the. Help me! It's not the right way as usual. Ow. Okay, yeah, so I'll get the screws on quickly. So guys, make sure when you're doing the power supply, you have a static free workstation, unlike me, because mine's in the, because my static free rope thing is in the iFixit toolkit or getting out in the mail sending, send, you guys know what I mean. But 
you know, let's just screw them in by hand. Just call them thumb screws and move on to the next part. Okay, now. Okay, next part is hard drive. I chose, uh, well, not hard drive. Let's do the Wi-Fi receivers. For our Wi-Fi receivers. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. No wonder I saw this. Like, there it is. So, I uh, right, see where we'll be having uh, WL, WLAN. If you guys break this, you guys are pretty much screwed. You can't, like, connect to the world. You can't, like, post on Facebook. You can't do all that important stuff that everyone cares about. You can't, like, post. You can't watch funny cat videos on YouTube. Most important of all, you can't watch, you know, Tech Hub. It's so, like. No. So like, you guys break this. You guys are actually pretty much screwed. Cause this is the oh my first. It was already broken once. Paul, well it's not. Really, I didn't break it. Someone probably broke it. So you plug it in with these. I think this one. Yeah. Yeah, I'm screwed because I did it backwards. But hey, who cares? All right, let's now work on plugging this stuff in. So for, no, not yet. We're gonna get our cooling system. This thing only has one freaking fan. So that's like a bummer. So let's find out where the fan lead goes into. Since it goes into there, we'll just position it like so. And we'll plug in the fan leads. For the motherboard, if you are using a Dell motherboard, the motherboard um, screw holes will be here, 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 and for the easy here, 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 and yeah, I talk fast because I'm trying to kind of sound like I um, have been auto tuned. I uh, like. And once we reach, oh crap, once we reach 1,000 subscribers, I will be giving out a full Microsoft Office 2017. I mean, not 2017, probably 2018, probably, if it comes out before. And an Adobe Photoshop Premiere. Uh, product T for those, um, the, um, once we reach 1,000 subscribers, I will give out stuff on that. But that's my promise. You guys will see it soon. And yeah, you could. And uh, probably Windows 10. Okay, those are expensive though. And this is the part everyone skips to giveaway time. But you guys, make sure you guys don't lose any screws like I just did. Because that will cause you extreme inconvenience when you are making your PC build. No, you did not lose your screw holes, your screws. Alright, so now... We have it. Oh dear, mommy, I need help. It's like my first PC book ever, so like I'm, you know, probably improve in the future. So once you do that, you plug that in right there. So once you are done with that, uh, all right, let's just plug in. No, let's not plug it in. Let's just plug in the power supply. So you plug it in here. And also, I just forgot I have to set up something, so I'll be right back. You know what? I set up my workstation and also got to drink water, but I am back now. So here we have this port. This plugs in right here into our motherboard. Also, we have these things from the I.O. and the, from the front I.O. So this yellow one will plug into the yellow port right out here. This green one will plug in to the green I.O. here. I got water, so like, I don't think that's a good idea. And then this black one, I think it's for the SD card reader, will plug in to the blue one for some reason. I don't know. And it will only plug in to the top two ones. And, yeah. Yeah. This is like... Yeah, look at that. Okay, so now when you have that... We will be inserting the, we're almost done. 
The credit card reader. No, not the credit card reader. Mm -hmm. The, the, you know what it's called? This thing. The thing from 2001 where you actually had actual CDs. So, okay, so ours actually just slides in when it's right side up. Ours just slides in like that and you are ready to go. It's actually that simple. And now, Making sure I don't spill the water. We have the Kings. No, not Kingston. It's a Seagate. I have a Seagate. One to Barracuda. One terabyte hard drive. I believe it's not a P. Let's say capacity RPM. I right, yeah. Canada class B digits. Yeah, blah blah blah. All right. So we're gonna be actually tearing this down in a later video. Watch out for that video. Because I don't have my FX toolkit, I, I don't have the right screws. And we're also going to be tearing down a power so No, you know what? I don't even want to do that. I want to die today. I want to die like when I'm at least 80. Alright, so your P. Uh, no, your hard drive should probably come with these things. Not the hard drive, the um, um, case itself should come with them. You should actually just screw them in. This will help prevent any. any um, like of it falling off, falling out of the rails. Pretty much keep it safe where it is right now. I'm not saying that you're not safe where you are right now. But it just helps it, you know? It just helps it. Also, make sure you're plugging it in. Not plugging it in. This will only cover the middle screw also. I am not liable for death because you talked to the power supply or in any of my videos where I tear down something and you have a chance of death. Like this one. That's like that one percent chance of death. Like there's that one idiot that's probably gonna be going up and then he's gonna be like, Oh, I wanna see what this does and then just gonna click and then kill everybody in the house. So it's like not gonna be my fault, it's just staying that clear. Probably put a like disclaimer in like really tiny font. And then cause you might have to cause it you have to do it guys. No, wrong way. So you put in the Seagate one too, right? No, people. I just start sometimes. I first put it in, make sure it's in correctly, and yay, more screws. So you plug those screws in. If you really. Yeah. Yeah, so you plug, and plug the screws in, make sure that it goes in tightly, because you always need a tight fit. So, it's a tight fit, always. So, see, this is the behind the scenes stuff that you never see in the actual video. Like, you always see... I just doesn't want to go in and make a tight fit, guys. I'm going to do that right now. Fit in tightly. Oh, that's going to be a pain to get out, but who cares? Okay, so now we are pretty much done with inserting everything. Let's just make sure all the cables are in here. Totally. So in here, you have this cable. It also has capacity if you want to add an extra. Oh dear, it's wrong with these things. If you want to add an extra CD to speed if you would like, but like, who cares? No one's gonna do that. This is like 2017, guys. So, you plug the orange one into the white one. Why? I don't know why, so. And also for this one, you pretty much the same thing, do the same thing. And you also find the blue cable. Well, mine's blue. And you plug it in here. And then you plug it into this part. You plug it into this part. You plug it into this part. No! Fit, I command you. I okay, have to force you in. And I forced you in. Okay, so your thing, it's not a, your cable, probably would have came with this weird thing. That's the power button. If you don't want your PC to be powered, good for you. But I do, so I'll just plug it in. 
this thing is not fitting whatsoever, even if I... So where was I? So yeah, now we have plugged everything in. Well, they're cable management. So cable management just like probably have these grommets coming out. So just plug the put the cables in to manage them, and I'll be right back when, with the finished product. Okay, guys. But now what you really want to know is if this functions is a really handy cup stand, or if it really works. So guys, I put everything in. I don't even know. It. Yeah, I see the light in there, kind of like before. And now I just. Put it in just hope this button works. Oh, I hear like a the. Let's run. Uh, yeah, let's see what happens. I'm so nervous, guys. You guys can't see me, but like, you guys can have the look of anguish on my face. I'm just like sweating bullets. I'm actually like sweating the bullets. Oh, no stand. Oh, is it working? And wait, what happened? I'm triggered right now. Hey, what's going on? No, is it restarting? Is that like booting up and then like going into that endless loop? No, I'm like triggered right now. But you guys, all but guys, thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, hit that thumbs up button. But if you didn't like it, you know what to do. Or like camera. Ow. Ow. Okay, guys. But you guys know what to do. If you didn't like it, hit that dislike button. But guys, if you liked it, hit that like button. Throw us a like. Also, I was forgetting this. Why am I such a bad person in these intros? Also, throw us a subscription. That means a lot to us. And while this thing is probably going to be booting up for a while, it's like just doing that speed up over and over again. But that still is, means it works, right? So guys, tell your friends all about this video if you really liked it. But then, throw us a like. Also, follow my Instagram, at Nabila. So you see the link will be in the description below. Oh, no. Ah, I like the light it makes on the screen. But guys, also, follow add me on Snapchat for non-daily stories. Oh, don't add me. Yeah, add me, guys. Add me. Add me. Like, yeah, I have... You guys should add me. Like... Hmm. Yeah, like, I just started Snapchat. So scan your screen if you want more pause the video scan the screen but guys thank you guys so much for watching this video if you you know what let's just not go through the intro but throw a subscription at us thank you guys for watching tech hub peace tech out